thank you thank you I know that took a lot of um, that uh, we're all passionate about making decisions uh, we don't take these lightly as I hope most of you know and um, we as a committee we have different views and different values but I think n our number one role here as um, commissioners is just serving the people that we represent and we hope to do that um, at at your pleasure and um, give you the voice like Mike said that that you so deserve um, on a lighter note and to kind of reiterate what Georgia said about the 63rd reunion group um, that was a fabulous weekend from start to finish and I commend our staff um, I commend the um, the airport staff and the group out there that um, takes the lead mr. Jim rhymes and his his groups out there, his group of helpers out there uh, the board the airport authority uh, mr. Don Brooks the investment they make in the community for that group is just phenomenal and like Georgia said you know we are down to four or five men in the group but they just uh, this is so meaningful to them that they just don't want to give it up they love Douglas and um, they were so complimentary of um, everything from our show choir to they had a guest speaker y'all that would be a fabulous speaker for our entire community I would like in hindsight and having heard this lady pilot she is a fighter pilot uh, one of the the first and one of the few feminine uh, or female fighter pilots um, I would love to have had her speak to something to the young ladies in our school system uh, just whatever she she did a fabulous job and we hope to have her back um, again I want to I want to encourage everybody not just to get out and vote but I want everybody to be prayerful about that and um, on Tuesday November 1st the there's something in Douglas being held that's a, a prayer group called one cry Douglas and this is going to be held at First Baptist Church from 1130 to 1 o'clock and I encourage everybody to also get involved with this and to you know just go out and meet together as a group and I think that's a good time maybe for us to vent to each other but I, I just want us to learn to disrespectfully if we're if we're if we disagree to do it respectfully and um, before we throw someone under the bus or before we condemn somebody you know perhaps walk a mile in their shoes or sit in their seat and um, understand where they're coming from and again thank you thank you mayor outstanding thank you commissioner mayor pro tem what, what's on your mind thank you mayor thank you well what's on my mind uh, first of all I'd like to say I'm happy to be here uh, just celebrated a, another birthday last Sunday. Turned to be 5-5. Five, five. <coughs> Enjoyed a cruise for my birthday. So I just I just give it up to God nice. today. I, 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 I'm just, I'm blessed. I just thank God for all of his goodness and his mercy. It's great to be here. So many people have, have left us. And speaking on that note, my condolences go out to the Robinson family, uh, Eunice Robinson Douglas family as well as uh, I think our officer, um, Tony Ward, Mr. Ward, his mom passed, so we give our condolences. Mr. James who, Turk and, also. Who? Mr. James Turk, who was an EMS. Um, really? Yes, Mr. Mr. James, James Turk, Turk passed away this past Sorry week. Sorry about so. that. And also Mr. George Pryor, uh, who was an educator in the Coffee High School I didn't system. Know, I didn't know So that. just send out our condolences to all of these families. Um, I'd like to say thanks to our staff. I mean, I'm excited. I couldn't be at the uh, 63rd uh, reunion this past weekend. Uh, my grandson, my youngest grandson, is six, his birthday is six days after mine, so I was tied up with, with them, and, and I was aching like crazy, I guess, from the cruise. But anyway. Wasn't aching on the cruise. <laughs> I was aching, too. You asked my, my partner I went with. But she hung, in, she hung in there with me. She helped me through it. But... Um, I just thank the staff because you know oftentimes it's said that we don't have anything to do in Douglas and that reunion out there, that tour for, to the museum. I yeah, think amen. That was, that, was, mm -hmm. that, that, that was just great. I wish I could have been very there. Very well done. Very well done. Yeah, well done. yeah. Our staff, they do a great job. Uh, the upcoming events like the Thanksgiving Spectacular, I'm excited about that. The musical, I hope I'm able to attend that. 
Uh, I just I just commend all of our staff. They, our staff work hard to to make Douglas a great place to, to live, and I appreciate all of you. Secondly, uh, Mayor, I, I I just want to talk briefly about the upcoming uh, election. Well, actually, it's going on now, and and regarding you know the alcohol sale on Sundays or whatever, I must say I do agree with uh, Commissioner Galwin about giving the citizens a, a voice to express their voice, and I think that's what we're here for. All the times when we vote, we don't necessarily vote for what we might be in favor of to a certain degree, but certain things like that I, I think it it should be up to our citizens and so that's what we have done we have given our citizens we are giving our citizens an opportunity to express what they think and and, and that's what uh, democracy is about you know you we don't want to have a dictatorship we want the citizens to feel that it's up to them uh, regarding amendment number one I agree with him on voting no. Uh, I don't think that the state should handle uh, what happens in our school system. I think that should be controlled locally. Uh, it would be difficult if that passes for uh, parents and, and students to be able to, to get to Atlanta, contact Atlanta, to get Atlanta to, to be on their behalf or talk with them. So I just don't think uh, that we should pass uh, that amendment one. I, I, I'm not in favor of that. There are several other things, amendments on there. The key to, the, to it, I think, is to, to read those amendments, uh, be informed about your vote, consult with people, research it. Don't just ever go out and just vote. Know what you are voting for. It's so important. Uh, but please exercise your right to vote. Uh, lastly, I, I like to say, uh, and Commissioner Roper can speak on this because I didn't get a, t a chance to attend it as well. The Gathering of Eagles at Pastor Don Jones Church Bethel uh, Family Worship Center. Uh, I think that was a great event and I had told her that I was not going to be able to attend because I had uh, prior engagement. But uh, that was a great effort on Pastor Don's <coughs> part to try to pull the community together. And, and I, think, I think that's what we need more of is our clergy our pastors getting involved in the community to make it better. So I commend Pastor Dawn for her efforts. I hope that it was a success. Uh, those who couldn't have gotten out, I, I, I did talk to someone and they had states prepared and I learned that it was kind of a loss. They experienced a loss because they had paid for the states and they didn't get the attendance that they wanted. So in the future, let us all try to work together to support when there is a good cause. Uh, and, you know, it's not about who's doing it. It's about what the issue is. It should be about what the issue is, not about who's sponsoring it. And sometimes that, that's a factor. And I just have to speak what's on my mind, and that's what I do. But uh, let, let, let's just support things that are good. Let's support things that are good. And I think that's all I have. Thank you. Outstanding. Mr. Moore, are you sure you through? <laughs> <laughs> No, the uh, 63rd was a great event, and <clears throat> I can't believe it, but Mr. Roper missed it. Yeah. He forgot it. And, of course, uh, Mayor, he ate enough for you, too, so uh, <laughs> not too bad Winetta wasn't there, and I said to manager, and... Uh, we actually, I, 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 I kid him a little bit in the work session, but we actually had one of the older gentlemen, one of the 94-year-old men, ask me where the mayor was that wears the hat, the top hat, the hat. And I said, you mean Commissioner Roper? And he thought all this time he was the mayor. And um, so he, he presents himself well, so years ago. I thought you were through. <laughs> you can't let a woman talk. But uh, I've probably said enough, uh, and uh, <laughs> is that right, Jerome? Thank you. Indeed, Appreciate man. it. <laughs> That's a all right, all right. I know where he's coming from. That's <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But anyhow, that was a uh, it was good to see those people. And uh, one of the ladies that had worked out there passed away last year. She was 99 years old, Ms. Uh, Fitzgerald. I was hoping she would make it till this year, but 
her number was called, so she had to go. And uh, but uh, they built, believe it or not, there was only four that was able to make it. There's some of the others still living, mm -hmm. but they were not able to get here. And like I said, the guy was 94 years old, and uh, he was talking about coming to Douglas. Said it was in the middle of nowhere, and the <coughs> first time I ever came here, I thought the same thing. But, uh, <laughs> But anyhow, I'll uh, pay Jerome back later. He can take his Halloween mask <laughs> off. <laughs> that's, that's not till this, when, the 5th? When is Halloween? 31st. <laughs> but anyhow, he can put his mask <laughs> back on then. Oh but gosh. anyhow, thank you, and I appreciate it, but I'll, I'll See, pay him back. There you go. That's what I'm, I'm talking about. And I'm through, Cindy, unless you want to talk some more. I'm sorry I caused that. I'm sorry. Mr. Roper, help yeah. me out. Well, uh, I have enjoyed it. I, I'd really forgotten Saturday, and uh, that's unusual. And I, and I told Amen. Brother Henderson, I said, you have to call me and remind me because I don't have a wife now to uh, keep me informed, you know. And, uh, I get off and get to talking somewhere, and I just keep going on and on. And that's what happened. And I went home, and I knew it was something I had forgot when I got home, but I took my shoes off and I didn't think about it and then Saturday morning I was dying it out because I had stayed out there in the air a little later than I should have and uh, I had all stoved up and I wasn't on no ship now <laughs> but I, I can't truthfully say yes and uh, this election has been one of the most thought about elections I had ever faced in my life except with Barry Goldwater we had the same situation with Barry Goldwater. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it come through here 40 years ago. I've been voting ever since 1954. And through the only two times that I hated the election was gonna be over and, and the one that was in had to move on and we we're gonna get a new one, but uh, Barry didn't make it. And I'm thinking the same thing again. And uh, we have the school issue, just number one on the issue. And God knows it's an issue because I recall the school that I started off in in Crawford County mm -hmm. was made out of slabs. And then they put siding around those schools and boarded them up. Came from churches. They had church in there also. And the first church, the first school that we had for people of color was put together by Miss Mary Hayes. God knows the old lady had a vision. Mm -hmm. And the school stands now in Broxton, Georgia. Just stands. But she put that school together, her and Miss Maddie Lott, raised the money to get that school there. And all the schools that we have in Georgia today was built by the citizens of this community. A few years ago, I say about 12 years ago, this, this surge came down from Atlanta and then uh, our representatives quit being our representatives. Mm -hmm. and they started representing themselves and criticizing us. Uh, don't pay no attention to criticize. You know, I'll be 80 years old in a few months, and uh, I've been pushed aside, criticized, and walked on, got up, and God keep keep me coming. I keep coming, and I ain't worried about that one. But uh, I think that any common sense person would vote no on that amendment. And I'm not saying that nobody has that right to do that. Now, I don't think you have the right to challenge your children when you're going to send the school to Atlanta and somebody from the state going to come out there like the school superintendent do. He'll come in when you've done something good and uh, he'll make a decision and he'll go back out of here and uh, your school is left unattended. I like local attendance and I've always had it. I got mad with my governors, the last two governors I had, because they would point people down here mm -hmm. two or three years left on their term when we had sent all our children to school to educate them to get in these positions, then they had a lead time and you send somebody out of town because they're favorable to you in the election. Yeah. And I don't like that. I don't get nobody to tie up an election for me. I do it on my own merits. And I think everybody should do that. And, I, and I'm not mad with nobody about that, but I just think that it's been a little selfish for the last 12 years in our governor's office. Mm -hmm. And uh, from what I have seen in the past, we've always been a little crazy. 
and we're getting a little crazier. Now, since Obama been president,